How's it going, boys? Today we're gonna be playing one of the most ridiculously powerful and hard to stop loop combos in all of Standard and Alchemy. You're gonna need the Body Launderer, you're gonna need the Junji, the Midnight Sky Dragon, and Kairi, the Blue Dragon. The Body Launderer can resurrect anything from the graveyard as long as it has less or equal power to him when it gets removed. And your main objective is gonna be get uh, back, get back Junji or Kairi. If you get back Junji and Junji gets uh, removed, uh, well, you just get the bod uh, body launderer back. If you get Kairi back, then when Kairi gets removed, you mill uh, you mill a couple of cards and then you put something back in your hand. Well, two things that are sorceries or instances. And in this case, it's gonna be Blood on the Snow. Blood on the Snow, 6 mana, get your Kairi back. Potentially infinite abort control. Oh yes! So these are a couple of easy, ridiculous combos that you can achieve with this deck. And everything else about this deck just goes around uh, to supplement it in some way. We have eye twitches for a ramping, installing Gleipnir channelers. This is gonna be alchemy, but... If you don't want alchemy, you only need to dis uh, re replace Discover the Formula, which can be replaced with almost literally any draw card. But it needs to be relatively greedy, so a 4 cost -ish draw card. And you need to replace Glaivnir Channeler. Either you can add two more eye twitches and one more Lidge Shredder, or, you know, uh, add literally any control card. Potentially even counter spells, but that's up to you. Ledge Shredders are just amazing cards on their own. Anything with con uh, Connive is pretty good. And Ledge Shredder has Connive and Body Launderer has Connive. So these cards can escalate really hard and they are really strong against early aggro decks. This is a 1-3 flying, so it's amazing almost always. This is a 3-3 that can wait until a knight which gets removed or a Glaipnir Channeler. You get the point. Extremely high stall potential. Then let's not forget the fact that we just have bl uh, bl Blood Chiefs, Thirst, Infernal Grasp, and Parasitic Grasp. Parasitic Grasp is kind of a must because we need some life gain. Meat Hook Massacre usually is not enough. And Wizards knows this, so they're gonna put you against Mono Black Lot Index. Relatively often, way more often than you would see normally. You know, all of that jazz. One Liliana, you can swap a couple of things around here, but just be sure to have body launders, and honestly, the more, the merrier. I don't even have four body launders, but you get the point. These cards are absolutely epic and amazing. But anyway, with that being said, boys, 24 lands to be specific, 3.4 average. Seems a lot, but it's not, not actually that much of a problem with the Gleipnir channelers and whatnot. But anyway, with that being said, please subscribe and like and maybe even comment what you think about the deck, what you think about the gameplay. It's amazing, probably. Am I right or am I right? Anyway, please subscribe. We're only 200 uh, subscribers away from reaching the goal of this 93k and then we're gonna try to go for 69 and that's gonna be amazing but with that being said without any further ado let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens it has been a while since i have played alchemy and this hand is a keeper but i have a because of that i have a question for you oh my so dear viewer are all of you like edgy got kids or something like that since every single time i make a poll what do you want to play more alchemy is always the absolute bottom of the list but when I click the alchemy play button, I find a game in 5 seconds. Okay? I, I find a game in 5 seconds. And that's really, 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 really ridiculously good. When I play any other format, I need to wait. Uh, for standard, it's like 10 to 15 seconds. For Explorer, it is around sometimes even 30 to 40 seconds. But in Alchemy, mwah, instant, instant validation. So, my question is, are you all just some kind of ed ed edgelord god kids who say that you hate Alchemy and whatnot, but in, sec in secret you actually just non-stop play it? Because honestly, it seems like the most popular format just by Q times. And that, that's that's kind of insane, you know? Ooh, that's a pretty strong play, not gonna lie, because it's an exile effect. 
Uh, but we just got a body laundered place, so 10 out of 10. And the waiting game, honestly, is very much in my favor. Yeah, still in my favor, not gonna lie. <laughs> I could get rid of this. Because it destroys target enchantments and whatnot. But then again, do I need to do it? I think I can just stay a while and listen, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna just... Yeah, I'm just staying a while and listening here. No point in being too aggressive or anything. That's the only cool-looking mech art I have ever seen in my life out of 10. Okay, he he's playing cards, but honestly... What does what does he get out of this? You know what I'm saying? Not a lot. Not a lot. And as long as we're just playing the shifty game, I'm kind of okay with this. I still have stuff to cast. I still have stuff to get back. Didn't expect uh, each player can cast more than one spell each. Are you a human? No, you're an archon. Whatever the hell that means. And... You know what? I want to get rid of you. You seem like a problem just waiting to happen. Honestly, that's not smart, probably, but hey. I am slowly moving to the point where Blood on the Snow is gonna be amazing. He probably understands the fact that I have lands, I have Blood on the Snow, and all of these things concoct. So he can't even play too much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Four, seven. One land and I can blood on the snow. If I get blood on the snow, do I even do it actually? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. But it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. Also, uh, like a couple of days ago was my mom's name day. And I know, I know, Americans are gonna be, what's a name day? You... Americans, you, you have literally every dumb holiday you could ever imagine because, you know, you just like holidays so, so much. And you don't have name days? That's just awkward, man. And that, that is just absolutely awkward. Wait, do, maybe a mascot exhibition here. But anyway, it was her name day. You, you have a calendar, and guess what? In that calendar... Oh, this is gonna be nice. In that calendar... My, my my sweet American friends, you have names, and when your name is on the specific date of the calendar, that's your name day. Also, we just won because I can perpetually now remove this and just oh, I can just I can just loop it. I'm gonna start looping it honestly because there's no reason for me to wait. Absolutely no reason for me to wait. Oh boy, yeah, this guy's probably not gonna be happy noises about this. We, we just won. But anyway, so I asked my mom, hey, what do you want as a present? Because, you know, I can be f straightforward with her, with her because she's my mom. And she says, shrimp. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of you are. I, I know a lot of. Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, that's that. That's a solid no for from me. My my boy, nope, not not happening. Absolutely not happening, <laughs> bruh. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, witness the future is a must in this situation. Actually, double witness the future. Why not? And a meat hook massacre. Woof. Man, that's some nice sauce right there. Not gonna lie. Okay, so what is he gonna do here? But anyway, he, she says shrimp. And I know what you're thinking. Man, that's probably expensive. Man, your mom, your mom, your, your mom's, your mom's, your mom's just, your mom's just taking advantage of you. As every mother probably does to a degree, right? Uh, but that's the thing. I was so happy because you see, the funny fact is, shrimp is way less expensive than goddamn flowers. Yeah. I can buy shrimp to eat for a whole goddamn day and spend only 10 euros on it. If I want to buy even the most minute amount of flowers that don't look like absolute garbage, I need to spend around 15 to 20 euros. Flowers are ridiculously expensive. Who made flowers so expensive? Someone needs to answer for this. 
every someone just decided, hey, we're gonna ruin everything for you. I'm gonna keep this in the graveyard. What do I want though back? Probably this. You know what? I honestly don't want anything. Ah, let's take this back though. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Not even sure what oh. Oh my. Okay, now I'm definitely sure. Hehe. <laughs> Ah, uh, that discovered formula is gonna be bigly. But we can still cast blood on the snow. So, there you kind of have it. Amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, uh, no, seriously. Shrimp is considered more or less like a, a luxurious item. Admittedly, it was on... It, it, it was shrimp on... What's... Uh, discount? <laughs> but still... Shrimp is more or less considered a little bit like a luxurious item to a degree. And yeah, it's less expensive than flowers. Let I just want that to sink in for a little bit of those of you who don't know. Flo if, if, if someone asks them, uh, if someone want, wait, oh, because right, that card. Okay, really annoying, but honestly, not too impactful, not gonna lie. If some if someone has if someone tells you choose between buying them flowers and giving them just flat out gold, uh, always go for the gold because it's probably going to be less expensive than flowers most of the time. It is what it is. Seriously, that was it. Not impressive. Not impressive. Value meat hooks by the way, just doing work. And knowledge just blood on the snow, destroy all creatures and pay. I don't even know how much mana. Oh, but enough mana to get Kyrie back. And that's how the loop ends. They can't do anything because I can reset my graveyard. I can do I can do all of that shaboozle shabazzle. It's like not even not, not even close to a problem. Let's do this because you know reasons. Uh not too valuable, not gonna lie, but hey. Better than nothing. And... I guess I'm just gonna witness the future here. Honestly, I don't have any other plays. Currently... I, there could be some miracle that he can pull off that's actually really, really good. But honestly, I have been already in a situation. Another Kyrie? No, a Blood on the Snow seems better. I have already been in a situation with this deck when I'm playing against someone who dropped uh, the... I forgot what it's called, Righteous Valkyries or whatever. Uh, the thing that makes it so whenever an angel uh, gets removed, you don't... You need to sacrifice something on your side of the field if you have creatures. That thing. It was super annoying playing versus that, don't get me wrong. But honestly, very low impact. Extremely low impact. And I should be a little bit careful about discover the formula here, because I don't want to reduce that cost too much. I can reduce the cost a lot here, because honestly... Again, I, I feel that I am in a, a very, very, very power play position here. Might as well just go for uh, all the cool stops like this and that. Add more creatures. Yeah, this this seems good. This seems really good. And just attack. I'm in a firm leading position. It would be a miracle if he plays something to get rid of us. Because again, the only real way to stop this deck when it gets rolling is pretty much exclusively at the moment graveyard exile or flat out creature exile because he, even if you exile the graveyard you need to do it multiple times so you need multiple exile conditions to actually uh do all, do 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 some deeps here you know okay do this gain a little bit more life where's our lilian she always gets lost somewhere i really really dislike that uh, still no Liliana Gleipnir Channeler to produce the mana cost of blood on the snow to nothing. Oh, uh, but... No problem. If blood on the snow ca uh, costs two and you can't resurrect anything any longer, again, no real problem because that means you have, like, ten-ish mana on the field. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so deliciously good. 
And this guy had theoretically a very aggressive start, but our creatures matched him. This hand could be amazing. Two eye twitches. That's really good on one hand. Nah, get the pun. It's a bad pun. I understand. But, you know what I also understand? That I should probably remind you to subscribe. Because that's an amazing thing. Like the video and maybe leave a comment. If I added green to this... Well, actually, I literally can add green to this if I really, really want to. But I don't. But there is potential, a lot of potential, in fact, to create an absolute beast of a graveyard flip deck with, uh, with additional green here. Some of you may already re remember the previous Gol uh, Golgari deck that res uh, had an infinity resurrection loop, which controlled the grave, uh, which controlled the board as good, if not better than that. Well, no, it didn't control it better. Kai, ooh. Yeah, that's really bad, but at the same time, this thing. Admittedly, I have absolutely nothing to deal with Trollbjorn, uh, uh, Thor, uh, Troll, why did I want to call him Trollbjorn? That's Toski. Whatever. Oh. Wait, what am I? I feel that I may need this at some point, so I'm gonna do it. Seems a little bit better than most things, so I'm just gonna do it like that. But, man, again, I have said this previously about this standard, but this stand standard rotation is very amazing with graveyard uh, manipulation decks. There have been so ridiculously many amazing things that I have been able to do with green and black, uh... Anything, almost. Well, not anything, anything. But with a lot of things. Again, the, the value just seems so off the charts here. And Body Launderer, again, not really bad. Even if he removes it, I'm still gonna get the Night Witch back. And, well, that's more card advantage, technically. Also, now I think he could be a Skilly Swarmy deck. Or, flat out, not what I just said. That's also a possibility. Cold Dragon, though, can create uh, treasure tokens, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, this was Search Lands. The red one was treasure tokens. Oof, that's annoying. Well, not annoying. Well, annoying, yeah. That's probably the exact right word. Uh, meat hooks? Mm. No, no meat hooks for now. Let's just do this and hope for... Mamma mia. That's real good. That's exactly what I was looking for. Honestly, I'm just using the uh, alchemy format just because discovered the formula is easily, easily the best uh, draw card in the format. By, by like, a, I don't know, a, a landslide, you should say. You could say. But yeah, got the eye twitch back, still got a blocker, discovered the formula for next turn. Even if you're a very, very, very annoying deck with Skelly Swarming, I think I got this under wraps, boys. I think I got this under wraps. And considering he has Binding of the Old Gods and that, yeah, probably a Skelly Swarmy deck. Which is technically really annoying. Well, not technically, literally is super annoying. When I see it, I want to blame someone for my misfortunes. Great strategy, by the way. 10 out of 10, even. Uh, not that great, but hey, this does reduce the... Do I even need to reduce the blood on the snow cost? Uh, honestly, no. I want to keep it as it is. So, Annihilation. Winner. Oh, what a play. What an absolute play. Uh, again, not a big deal. Two cost annihilation. Pfft, for show. Now we have a Juji Dragon Drop, which will resurrect into a Body Launderer. Essentially, we have options, boys. We have options. Good options, to say the least. That's actually pretty good, but I'm gonna drop one. Okay, now drop this, and let's see what he does. Well, you know, you, you know the answer. Doesn't actually matter what he does as long as it's not exile effects. Hell yeah. No, oh, that's the Tamiyo thing. Wow. What a 
play on this. Wait, he's still out of cards. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best play in the century that I have ever seen. So I'm just gonna blood on the snow. Do I do I get the night witch back here? Huh? Should I get a night witch back? Nah, whatever. This is fine. This is fine. This is super annoying, by the way. Not gonna lie. One card and put the target. Yeah. <gasps> oh my! Did I just find the solution? Ah, oh, me likey, me likey a lot. In fact, actually, maybe this was a mistake because I don't want that much drop. But then, are you literally kidding me at this point? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you legitimately kidding me at this point? <laughs> well, technically I'm at least drawing a card, but hey. Honestly, yeah, I'm kind of looking at this now and I'm thinking maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> because this is going to be a lot of damage. Hell what? I I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry, what? Also, taking that deeps right there. <laughs> Taking it, uh, taking it like an absolute man. And what do I do now? Uh, blood on the snow. Not that one, but this one. And what else can I do? Well, discover the formula, I guess. Oh yeah, that's the south. That that that's absolutely uh, the south. And let's attack. Again, I'm kind of hoping that honestly, I need this removed because it, it, I, I'm gonna draw too much cards. That's the real risk currently here, right? The real risk is legitimately just drawing too many cards at this stage. I kind of can't have that. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, Chief, okay. What a play. Okay, this guy absolutely just... I, 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 I think our friend, our friend out here... How much damage do you have? Five? Sign me up! At this point, I'm I'm more I'm I'm more of using this as an Omega Flex type of thing than an actual must do because good plays type of deal. Oh, he just surrendered. Good, good hand, but potentially our third win in a row if everything goes according to plan. Now that doesn't mean I have a plan. Usually I don't. In fact, I never have had a plan. But that has not stopped me from doing good stuff. It all kind of depends on does this maybe this guy knows our uh, secret weakness. That could honestly happen. So let's see. Maybe he magically knows our weakness. Cool land art. Oh, he knows our weakness. He's playing cards. Oh no. Okay, so that has first strike. That's a actual serious problem. So what am I supposed? To okay, so this is a little bit busted if I don't have any card removal, right? Because that thing has death touch and two damage and first strike. Honestly, if, you, if honestly, it's too much. <laughs> honestly, it's literally too much. Oh, he went for that, huh? Okay. The good part is technically. Technically, whatever adventure deck he is playing, I should not care that that much, but yeah, still kind of worried. Jeez Louise, no, that's just, okay, okay. Can you please stop? Oh, we actually got a really good combo, yeah. Okay, this should be enough, this, this, this should one hondo be enough. I can actually stop him, I can do, I can do other things. Ooh, not bad. Uh, ditch that. Hmm. I'm probably blocking the deer, right? Do you think he's even attacking? There is a world where he doesn't attack. <laughs> ah, yeah, I would, uh, I would love to live in that world, but obviously, that's not happening. So, in this situation... Oh, he finished the dungeon, eh? 
Wow, what a play. Gain one life, and now he does it goes for the big one. Oh, he went for the easy dungeon because just he just had an adot, and that's pretty much it. Okay, okay, honestly, good plan. Honestly, that's a really good plan. I would have still went for this because he would already been at Scry level 2, I think. Or something like that. And, you know, then this would have been a lot weaker. But instead, full power, full throttle, never stop, no uh, no compromises. And I get back a Glaipnir Channeler and we can discover the future. Honestly, the only reason why I play alchemy in some situations is just the fact that I can literally play Glaipnir Channeler plus discover the formula in some decks. It's just so ridiculously powerful for control. Glavnir Channeler and Discovered, uh, Discovered the Formula is just literally what the dreams are made of and stuff, you know? Also, that's a really good play. Not even... No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna attack. Why not? Oh, Teleportation Circle. Cool, cool, cool. Honestly, didn't expect that too much, but Teleportation Circle is a very decent card you can add. In some situations, in some other situations, it's just flat out bad. But in this case, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. But I kind of think I am running away with the game. I'm out drawing him. All of that jazz. Admittedly, having this many Galavna channelers just for freebies doesn't, that doesn't really do too much and doesn't... Doesn't feel too good, but everything else is spot on. And that teleportation circle is just getting sadder and sadder. <laughs> yeah. I like it though, it's the good kind of sadness. It's the type of sadness where you go, mm, please, yes, second me, baby, up there. Okay, now I can slowly start to go for, uh, well, more or less the throat here. I like it. Just attack him. We have a grasp if we really, really want to do some. Hello. Well, you're not a human, you're an orky borky. Uh, but that's better than you actually being removed, removed. So, uh, there we have it. And now Ledger. Still very powerful. So, this is a problem. The Vanishing Verse is always a problem. Oh, oh, that's... That's actually Blood on the Snow worthy. You know what? That, that's legit Blood on the Snow worthy. As hilarious as that may sound. Imagine also he has blue and he has the two or three caused girl that makes uh, enter the dungeon effects proc two times. That's just ridiculously good with teleportation circle, you know? Let's see. Do I do the cheap one or big one? Yeah, let's do the cheap one first. Uh, wait, no. Be Omega Gamer move. Attack first. I bet none of you expected that I'm gonna attack first. Exactly. I wouldn't also expect it normally, but today I'm feeling frisky. So what do we want to get back? Obviously the ledger. It's just the flat out best card. Also I could take... No, 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 no. It's good, it's good. Because again, reducing the cost of blood on the snow is a double-edged sword to a degree. Return target, no one cares card. Jeez. Oh. Man. This is what... Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty big, Chief. Oh, actually... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That, that's really bad. That, that... Am I playing the Milvin condition suddenly? You know what? I think I honestly... Am. Okay, so the thing is, with the Archlich, is this card is really bad to get in the opening hand. But if you have a uh, value Archlich in like 5, 6, 7, 8 or more mana and nothing honestly to do with it, you can just constantly roll that. And that's amazing. The thing without Archlich also is, if you ever play this card, going for the Tome of Annihilation is a is bait. You always want this to just proc more Dungeons of the Mad Mage, and literally just call it a day. 
Uh, that's that's legitimately the strategy. But yeah, it looks like my win condition against this dude is gonna be mill. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yes, no, seriously, it's gonna probably be mill. I don't know what else to do. Venture into the dungeon. What a time to be alive. Man, Orzov Venture. Pretty good, pretty good, it seems like. He's getting extra use out of this thing, even though I personally never use it. Also, this is actually pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Closing statement. Misclicked. Damn it. I actually wanted to get an exile card for the teleportation circle because I'm kind of getting... Okay, N previously it was funny because it was sad. Uh, now it's threatening. I don't like things that threaten me, okay? I, I, I am an actual su sublime advocate of not playing against things that threaten me. Now, call that selfish, but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. I actually call it selfish because I love that. Destroy target creature planeswalker you don't control. Put a plus one one counter on target creature you control. This cost uh, this costs less at the end of your turn. I never understood this card, honestly. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But if you if you think about this card, it's like it can all it can be done at your end step, which makes honestly no sense. And second of all, it has the weirdest card text in all of magic. Destroy target creature or planeswalker you don't control. This is one of those absolutely ultra rare moments when for some reason they need to specify the, something that you don't control. In the past five expansions, I don't think there uh, there have almost been no cards like that. That are removal, but they are specifically target opponent controls. Which is strange. Also, I don't remember what the hell you do, but that's probably fine. I still have an advantage. I, actually, you know what? Yeah, I can just go face the, faces the place. No problem with that. Feeling... Wait. Wait. Oh, non-land permanent. I discarded the land right there. I was thinking about why why aren't you getting a plus one one? Yeah, that, that was a little bit confusing, not gonna lie for a moment there. Also, seriously, you're gonna actually do that. <laughs> Dude! At this rate, I'm seriously gonna be playing mill against this guy. Jeez Louise! Attacks at fine, blah blah blah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, Chief. Uh, you, 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 you can absolutely one hundo do that. I am in fact a fan of you doing that. What else do I want back? Well, discovered the formula. Why not? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that was not. That I'm sure that was the play. But then again, what is he supposed to do? That that play never changes. That play really never changes. Draw three cards, then choose one, then play for free. Dude, this is disgusting. <clears throat> well, admittedly, if you want a deck, but a better deck than this, you can always just check out my channel because I have a, uh, because I have a deck like that. Only again, it's better. Wait, actually, no. Competitive magic player, attack first. Ah yes, becoming a competitive magic player by declaring attack attack first. What are the what what are the times? I know, but it's it's just every time it's just one more step closer to victory. And yeah, finally time for the eye twitch. And discover another discover the formula. There we go. There we have it. There's a juji. Gotta love it. Dude, how many of these do you f have? It's getting annoying. No, seriously, at this rate, it's gonna legitimately be just... Mill the deck out until I only have... Um... Witness the Futures... And Bloods on the Snow. Or alternatively, I literally just find, uh... Meat Hook. 
Or was, is it in the graveyard? Is it? I don't see it. I don't see it, so... Well, I can still find the Lilian. His HP pool is... Uh, his HP pool currently is, like, uh, the serious problem that he has, right? Undoubtable, huge problem. Un absolutely huge. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep the Discover the Formal, because I'm gonna cast it. Or not. I guess that also works. What do we else want here? Another blood on the snow. A dragon. Another blood on the snow. <laughs> and this. Yeah, that 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 seems good. That's that seems like a <gasps> We got it. The Lilian the dream is real, boys. Okay, how did first strike with Oh my god, please no, just stop. You're you're so annoying. I hate you. But I am gonna get rid of the eye twitch and that's gonna be the teleportation circle gone. Plus, he legitimately will run out of these disgusting dwarf creatures to play, and that's gonna be pretty much my uh coup de grand of win. So yeah. The moment he runs out of these things, it's gonna be amazing. Also, that does not help him a lot. Wait, can you pay the kicker there? Oh, you actually can. That's insane. Uh, I guess... Who literally cares? Ooh, big plays. Okay, we have a, we have a Cairo. Hmm. Do you have a hand? Oh, wait, you actually have that. You know what? Yeah, discard that, okay? Thank you. Thank you, I knew you would understand. Okay, he no longer has the... Oh, he... Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. He didn't get... Uh, he couldn't... Uh, he couldn't do the ch uh, the choice. Like, uh, good, 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 thank you, thank you. Okay. This is getting super annoying, but it's... But it's dealable. I like it. And where is... There we go. Do you think he has just one value teleportation circle, by the way? And he's gonna get the mass vis- Oh! Boys, this just does not stop. This, 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 please. Again, just a meat hook massacre and I would have already won 50 years ago. Oh, he he's gonna probably drop me. Or do that, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, not too impressive, not gonna lie. Actually, the exact counter of impressive. Again, I am just gonna deal with everything here. Put that back. Put put an eye twitch back. Let's see what else. Is there anything else I want to put back? Uh, no, no. I should probably put some instant removal back in there. One of these, sure, why- wait, 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 I said instant removal, and what's that, is that- no, that's not instant removal. And... This is... four cost. Wait, where are the good ones? Where, I, I'm pretty sure I kept one that's maximum value, did I not? Ah, maybe I didn't. That's honestly awkward. Well, in any case, here's another one, so... You know, it's not like it's it's not it's, it's not like I'm actually gonna lose out here. Okay. Minus five five, that's redonkulous. <laughs> oh, it actually legitimately is, huh? And he's just starting anew. <sighs> and again, if you add blue to a deck like this, it's you you get such such an extremely more ridic wait, what? Oh, because he got it back with this thing. Oh my god, that's so annoying. That's beyond annoying. Again, there's very low chances that he legitimately, like, does stuff to a degree that actually hurts me, but... I need to get rid of this, and I'm not finding the time, honestly. Do it like that, I guess. Not a big deal. You know, not, not a really a big deal. Demonic Gift. When this did return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. Wow. Okay, honestly, kind of impressive. Just, just a little bit impressive. It. Oh my God! Did I just do an oopsie? 
I pressed on both witness the futures. Well, there goes the competitive player aspect. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. I still believe. 22 cards. What are the chances that I don't just top deck a brat at this moment in time? Honestly, probably zero. But we somehow did ditch our Meat Hook Massacre finally. Which is sad. I really wanted to still own it. Uh, Parasitic Grasp. Not exactly what I'm going after. Okay, uh, new plan. This. That's it? Seriously, that's it? And this in that case? Th th that's really it. Okay, sure, why not? And... Four. Is four enough? Actually, yeah, four is exactly enough. <laughs> ah, who doubted me? Who doubted me? Be leave a comment if you doubted me. Because at this time, th this period in your life, Let's let's be completely real. You should have already stopped doubting me long uh, stopped doubting me long a long time ago. I am unrivaled, unraveled. They can't stop. Oh my, not again! It's like you remove one and here and and here's another one. At least one, two, three, three. Okay, good. Not. Good, that means he still has one nightmare left. But he can't do anything, really. Like, uh, let's face it, he plays the Nadar, okay, big deal, who cares? He plays the Arc Lich, okay, who cares, big deal, what up? I'm still gonna play this, I'm still gonna remove stuff, I'm s I still have Liliana. Admittedly, I haven't played the land, what the hell is this? This was the bad one. Enters the dungeon, venture into... Oh, he's using this just because it's really good with teleportation circle? Sag. Actually, super sag. But, you know, it's his own choice. Right, I can play this and I can grasp it. Does he have anything else here? No. Oh, it is funny at the end of the day. It, it is hilarious. But the moment I drop Liliana, his HP pool is just going to start going down, down, down. And that's going to be big, big, big. He can scry all he wants. I'm pretty sure he has scryed his whole deck at this point, by the way. Or relatively as maximum close to it as possible. So, yeah. Uh, drop the dragon. And now get rid of Nadar, because he's super annoying. Gain a little bit of life, gain a little bit of more life. Again, competitive magic player. Do you think I'm not gonna just stop deck the, uh, the Vrat when I needed to? Obviously I will. Ob Almost dropped the cap. Obviously. Oh, you need to pay such a huge price for that. Oh, oh, that's not... Oh, pain. Anyway, now you lose a little... Wait. Bruh. Actually, let's check. Is the do we have anything good here that I want? Actually, yeah, pro I probably do. Let's be real. I, I probably want want to do this no matter what. Okay, we got it. We actually got a new blood on the snow. Amazing. We finally did it, boys. Did we not mill two blood? On oh yeah, we did mill two bloods on the snow. Okay, good enough. That's it, boys. That's it. Now I can. Pr okay, so now is the sweet part. This is an untouched, unreduced blood on the snow. That just means that I can literally now, non-stop, play blood on the snow. Actually, he could technically try and exile my thing. That would be stupid. That would be a problem. Yeah, but that's still not working out. Wait, why do these things not have... Uh... It doesn't show that they have the summoning sick. Shouldn't they have the summoning sick? No, they shouldn't have. Wait, he just forgot to attack. Look at it. It's uh, that stop at end of turn. Yeah. So he didn't attack because he has forgotten that he can attack. Because he has probably attacked like three times at uh, three times this game. And I need to start putting lands back into the deck. That's actually going to be big. 
I have been stuck on nine lanes for pretty much the whole game at this point. And this teleportation circle has done too much damage to me because of that. Okay, can I do this? Should I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. YOLO 420 blaze it. And obvious things are obvious. We get back at the boy. Nice. And if anything happens, honestly, I may choose to bounce it. I'm not even sure. I'm not honestly even sure. But yeah, witness the future and do that. He's obviously probably going to try and do annoying things. Deals damage to a player, venture into dungeon. Now, this is a bad card, right? It, it legitimately is just a really, really bad card. Okay, you did it once. What now, chief? Are you going to do it twice? You can't. This spell return target creature card. Oh no! No! Don't tell me he's gonna resurrect the uh, uh the cleric. That would be. Ho <laughs> Please no! <laughs> Please no! I don't I really don't want. Oh no! He resurrected the stupid fucking cleric. Oh no! Oh, that's the saddest thing I have ever seen in my life. Okay. <laughs> Oh my, not again, not again. I, I told you we're gonna mill this guy at the end of the day. We're legitimately gonna mill this guy. This is funny though. Please use it. Ah, he didn't use it. What a, what a tool. What a tool. Man. Okay, so what's my play? Uh, I still have this, so honestly, what do, what do I even care? Okay, I'm finally gonna exile that dumb card. I, I, I'm done. I, I'm done. I'm gonna exile it. Honestly, I should exile maybe the dwarf. You know, no, no, no. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. It 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 matters not. Finally, instant removal. Uh, competitive player attack first, like always. You're never gonna. You're never gonna see me slacking. Let's be real. And first things first. Finally, after. I don't know, 20 minutes of complaining about that card, we finally got it. Next, and next, and the next master play is get Liliana. Get, get, get Liliana out on the field. And then truly he will be out of options. Mill six cards, it doesn't matter, we're not gonna mill ourselves, it's pretty much impossible by the way uh, for us. So, Blood on the Snow, Uncorrupted version, and... Um, Witness the future. Uh, a mascot exhibition actually is not that bad, but probably this is more useful. Okay, now I have also instant removal, which means for the first time throughout, I'll... See, this is how important lands are, right? Th this is just how important lands are. <laughs> it's true, though. It's seriously true. That's just legitimately how important lands are. Hey, you just damaged yourself. You're playing into my win condition, my boy. Man, does this not just speak volumes for how good the adventure in the dungeon can be? Because when it gets popping, there's no way to stop just constant venturing into the Mad Mage's dungeon. It's, it's impossible. It's just not a thing that happens, okay? He still has this also, which is a problem. But he has 13 cards, so he probably is a little bit spoofed about the idea of venturing into the dungeon <laughs> because what is he gonna do what is he gonna do i think he has already scryed all of those cards by the way that's that's the hilarious part i legitimately think he has most likely already scryed all those cards also no i am not gonna be using liliana there so put that back i guess put this back in sh because why not at this point right uh put one of these back and then just put more lands back in rotation. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's just so dumb. Can I play? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, drop the land. Amazing. Ten out of ten. F play the land first time in fifteen minutes, boys. We're we're, we're popping. It's flood fire a blazing. From uh, from one to ten, I literally can't. 
Uh, it's pretty good. Plays a guard go. Yeah, big deal. Create a treasure token. What up, buttercup? As long as I get rid of the a lich, it's actually fine. But again, this guy's pretty smart. Also, imagine if he had blue in his deck. He could just reset the graveyard. And then just constantly venture into the Mad Wizard's Lair pretty much every turn, un unprovoked, unstopped, unhinged. But since he doesn't have a way to reset his deck, he can't. And this is why I always have a way to reset my deck. <laughs> There's no way he hasn't scryed the library at full, by the way. Absolutely. Ab there should be literally no way that that's true. Gonna use this because I just want to resurrect something that uh, does a minor amount of damage, I would say. Well, this... Actually, that's kind of a dangerous card to a degree, right? But should be good anyway. Do this. And let's put this back. I'm not, I'm not gonna put that... No, actually, I... No, I will not. Yeah, I will not. I'm gonna put this back there, this back there, and what else? That doesn't matter, land. Oh, boys. Look at this. It's been 50 trillion years, but we're finally... Seriously? Or is that just... Oh, I already played the land this turn. Wow. Wait, is he going for the Milvin condition? No shot, right? Actually, yeah, actually, like, no shot. There's no way he's going for a Milvin condition. Exile the top two cards if you're... You may play them. Okay. He actually went for... Okay, he's gonna kick at it. Okay, okay. He has 6 HP and I have enough things to cast. Wait, could you even kick it? Uh, yes, you could. Oof. Also, it's been so long, you can see a little bit of graphic glitch here. Wait, why is there an opponent's turn button like that? Interesting, interesting. Okay, very cool. I win, because I can literally cast this now, and I can cast this. Observe. Oh, I can't. Well, you know what, uh, as they say, close enough. 4 HP... Oh, that's... Ain't, ain't that absolute sadness? 2 HP! Oh, ain't that absolute sadness? And this is why you always put life gain in your deck. Actually, does he have any? Yeah, no, no, he does, technically. He technically does. One, one value null priest of oblivion. <laughs> oh, what a game! What an absolute game, Frank. 3-3-8-3-9-9. Chandra Avatar. What a battle. What an absolute battle, though. Say what you will. Alchemy does have its bright side. Oh, that's a desperation move. That's a desperation move. Man, he knows. Actually, I have a blood on the snow. You know what I'm gonna do? Since everything enters into the dungeon and it's draw three cards. Seri no, seriously, you should have already scryed everything. Oh, because he scries everything, he that doesn't mean he's not gonna scry for the better. Okay, 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 new plan, new plan, boys, new plan. 42 HP, blood on the snow. Eight cards. Venture into the Mad Dungeon's Lair. There's absolutely not a single world where this guy can win. Because I will probably just draw an instant to win any time that I please. And he honestly doesn't have a shot, right? He, he honestly does just does not have a shot. So, he can try as much as he wants, as much as he likes. Considering he's gonna mill himself, I am, al I, I am gonna allow our boy Wonder... To, well, procrastinate, no, procrastinate is not the right word here. Anyway, what, what's the point of this one? 
Attacks it gains flying. If you control a creature with flying, same true for first strike, double strike, death touch, indestructible, life link, menace, and threat. Wait, this is actually a really good card. How did I miss that? Anyway, attack with this. Don't ask me why. I just want to give him a small confidence boost because he's losing the mill bar, right? He's losing the mill bar. Seriously? That was your choice? Uh. Bold, not gonna lie. Wait, now I can't. Oh no, now I. Oh, that's bad. Ah, uh, oh, mm, that's really, really bad. Now I can't cast the blood on the snow. He actually. Oh, this guy's a G. He he knew what he was doing. He knew. He knew. Attack! Attack with the null null priest. Oh, he's actually going for the Lilian. I guess that's also smart. <laughs> oh, this guy's just not giving up, boys. He's just not giving up. He he believes. He's a believer. An unstoppable believer who does who's literally gonna lose the moment he gets the Mad Wizard's Lair and every creature has an effect that enters the dungeon when they come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's just that's just great. That's that's unconditionally the best. Wait a minute. Maybe it's too boring for him, knowing every single card left in his deck. Let's create a little bit of mystery. Let's use Field of Ruin. Yeah, let's use Field of Ruin. Imagine, boys. Imagine. <laughs> imagine he pulls out a land. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be a l oh I had the land. Anyway, whenever you complete dungeon, you may return. Decent card, technically doesn't do a lot, but still pretty decent. Still pretty decent-ish. Uh, do I even care? No, not no, wait. Oh, I don't have a choice, huh? Anyway, might as well do this and resurrect Lilian. J oh. Well, nice. I really enjoy graveyard combos. Honestly, there's nothing else I can say about that. Also, don't ask why this art is used here. Because the long answer is pretty complicated. The short uh, answer is this, this started off as mono red, but slowly transitioned into what you see here. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye-bye. Uh,